Harry firmly tears down Meghan's absurd hope to attend Oscars after requested to resign Netflix. The Duke of Sussex will miss the Oscars, it has been claimed, over the Princess Diana film. Prince Harry is thinking about skipping the Oscars over a hotly tipped biopic about his mother, but Meghan Markle is desperate to return to the Hollywood scene, it's been reported. Sources in the US say the Duke of Sussex doesn't want to run into Kristen Stewart during awards season following her portrayal as Princess Diana. The actress is likely to be nominated for an Academy Award for her role in the film Spencer. And while the Sussexes have been invited to all the big events, Harry was pretty appalled with the movie, and would prefer to not to attend the ceremony, it's claimed. However, Mum of Two Meg would reportedly like to see her friends at LA's glitziest parties. The source told OK. US that Spencer struck a sour note with Harry. They said, he's pretty appalled by the film. Meghan and Harry, have been invited to all the big events and planned on attending the Oscars too, but they'd almost certainly come face to face with Stewart since she's a lock for a Best Actress nomination. Meghan figures they can just ignore Kristen or be briefly polite, but Harry's not one to be fake, and his nerves are still raw, the source said. The Duke has reportedly considered staying home for the event. He's actually thinking about skipping the Oscars, but Meghan really wants back into the Hollywood scene, they said. It comes after Prince Harry facing calls to resign after Netflix premieres Diana, the musical. A controversial musical about the life of Princess Diana that premiered this fall on Netflix led to calls for Prince Harry to resign. Critics called out the prince for his seeming hypocrisy after he remained silent about the widely criticized musical, though he and his brother William typically go after those who try to profit off of the late Princess Diana's memory. The Sun's former associate editor Dan Wooten, called on Prince Harry to resign from his Netflix deals over the revolting musical just released on the platform. For years the Duke of Sussex has waged war against any media organization which, in his eyes, demeans the memory of his late mother or exploits and misinterprets her life for commercial gain, Wooten wrote in a new column for the Daily Mail. Over the weekend his new U.S. paymasters did exactly that in the most outrageous fashion. And if he fails to speak out against the musical's depiction of his mother, then he is tacitly endorsing it, Wooten argues. Speaking about Spencer, Kristen Stewart in the role of Princess Diana. Stewart told BBC News, I had TMJ, her jaw stayed shut, to the point where I was like, completely locked up. I was like, huh. I guess I'm really nervous, I was really tripping out until we started. I felt I wanted to protect her, she said. I had to just not focus on other people's idea of her, and really focus on my own. And that in itself was just so distinct and specific to me. The film won rave reviews, while many have also acknowledged how painful Diana's depiction will be for Harry and William. It covers a weekend in 1991 when Diana and Charles were in Sandringham for Christmas amid speculation their marriage was at an end. In director Pablo Olarain's reimagining of the break, the princess hallucinates and considers taking her own life. Her friends say they believe she'd be horrified with the movie. Magazine editor Ingrid Seward told The Telegraph. It hadn't been a good year for Charles and Diana at all. Their marriage was breaking up pretty rapidly. But she said Diana was not self-harming that weekend, as portrayed in the film. That Christmas, she was there with Fergie, Ms. Seward said. She wasn't speaking to Charles, but she wasn't cutting herself at that stage. They've piled every bad thing into one weekend which is taking poetic license a little far and which is taking